Tell me about your memories of Big Wilson. Uh, I graduated from high school in 1966, uh, so between the, the time of approximately uh, 1962 and 1966, I became very familiar uh, with the Pig and Whistle. Uh, it was a drive-in uh, restaurant um, and featured uh, curb service uh, so that if you drove in, uh, there, would be, there would be a curb boy that would come out uh, and take your order and take it back and then bring it back on a tray that would hang on the window of your car. You had to roll your window up about this far to give the tray something to hang on and then a little prop. A lot of people don't remember the drive-in trays of the past. Um, but they had wonderful food uh, that we all enjoyed, especially the barbecue uh, that was a, a special treat, but hamburgers and hot dogs and french fries and this, that, or the other. Uh, so it was a favorite gathering place uh, for us because we would come and not just eat, but socialize between cars. You they'd get out and move around between cars, sit on the back of cars, wait, watch, and see who drove through. So it was a great point, a uh, great place uh, to gather and meet with your friends. Well, you're early on social media. That's exactly right. That's exactly yeah, right. Stand in social it was it, it, it was it was a, a, a kind of the earliest form of Facebook. So <laughs> you'd go there and catch up with all of the friends uh, that you had and, and all of the news of the day. Cruise the parking lot. Cruise that's exactly right. Over to the varsity. And, and in fact, that's exactly right. There was a, there was a route uh, between the Pig and Whistle and the Varsity that was a couple of blocks over. And you would loop between the two and you would see cars come through three, four, five, six, eight, ten times still just making the loop to see who was where and where to stop and so on and so forth.